Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. This tutorial of for those who've lost a pet. I'm going to show you how to make a quick but beautiful memorial using your favorite photo of your pet. I provided this cloud background so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. Its size is 2700 by 1575 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Make a copy of the background by pressing Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The amount is 100, the method is Zoom, and the quality is Best. Change the blend mode to Lighten. Merge the two layers by pressing Ctrl E on a PC or Command E on a Mac. Open a photo of your pet. We need to make a selection around the head. There are many ways to make selections, but for this example I'll choose the lasso tool and roughly draw around it. Go to Select and Refine Edge. This feature is great for picking up fine detail like fur and hair. Click Smart Radius and slide the radius until you see some detail of fur around the edges. Click Decontaminate Color to replace color fringes of the background with the color of your pet's fur along the edges. The greater the amount, the stronger the color replacement will be. We'll output it to a new layer and then click OK. To move your pet into the cloud background, press V to open your Move tool and drag the photo up onto the Cloud tab. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. To resize your photo, press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag it in or out. Then press Enter or Return. If your photo isn't in the center of the clouds, just click on it to move it there. Make a copy of the layer and click off the eyeball of the original to hide it. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open your Distort folder and choose Diffuse Glow. For this photo, I'll choose a graininess of 0, a glow amount of 3, and a clear amount of 5. Play with these numbers to get just the right combination for your photo. Make a copy of the Diffuse Glow layer and hide it. Make the original Diffuse Glow layer active and go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Keep the same parameters as we did for the clouds and click OK. Duplicate the effect by pressing Ctrl or Command F and then repeat it one more time. Go to the Adjustment Layer button and choose Hue Saturation. Click on the Clip to Layer icon which will restrict the Adjustment Layer effect to just the one layer beneath it. Once we click on it, you'll notice that the adjustment layer slides to the right. Check Colorize and for the hue type in 212 and for the saturation type in 50. Make the top layer visible and active and reduce its opacity to 70%. The last step is to create a soft white vignette around the edges of our image. Make a new layer and open your elliptical marquee tool. Go to the top left corner and drag an oval selection to the bottom right corner. Go to Select, Modify and Feather. Feather it by 150 pixels. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. We'll fill it with white and since white is our background color press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Then delete the selection. 
If you like, you can also choose to add text. Using these simple techniques, you can create a loving image and memory of your pet. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.